bloody fantastic. Hello everybody, my name is Good Boy, and welcome to a Dota Psychology Guide on what I'm identifying as easily one of the biggest problems I'm seeing in, in Dota, particularly in the in the two to three two to three K skill bracket. Now, Dota has often been characterized as a game that is riddled, riddled with rage, hatred, and frustration. The thing about Dota is, because it's a team game, it's very, very easy to blame your teammates. And, you know, that it doesn't make sense because sometimes you dying or feeding or whatever is, you can, well, at least you can, you can partially lay the blame on your teammates. The actual reality is that if you're always blaming your teammates, it's not really actually your teammates, it's you. But nonetheless, we've all been guilty of it, even myself included, have, have flamed to death countless teammates before but if i if i look at the different skill brackets i, I identify different problems now if, if i look at like people who are less than 1k there's two things going on there the main thing is well particularly to us let's let's cover one to 2k if i look at one to 2k the biggest point i see is just people just don't know how to play the heroes at all and they make very very stupid mistakes okay so for example i was playing in a 1k one to 2k match uh, I think the average MMR was 1.3k or whatever. My goodness, I was averaging up that team. And, uh, and and basically, I did something like I shackled. I was with a Wraith King. It was such an, well, in my mind, such an easy kill to secure. I shackled someone with a Shadow Shaman. And then while they're shackled, they stun them with Wraith Fire Blast. Not after the shackles, while they're shackled. And then they start to try and attacking the enemy after both stuns end simultaneously. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is so bad. But if I look at the two to three K bracket, okay, you don't tend to, you can, you, people do make quite basic mistakes, but that really isn't the thing that screws over most of the games that I see. Um, there is a skill problem, don't get me wrong. There are definitely skill problems. Um, a lot, again, once you get to three to four K, those tend to iron out. And then again, four K plus a different, totally different kind of ballpark altogether. But the 2 to 3k bracket, I would say the problem isn't so much the skills of individual players, although again, like with Dota, it is a lottery. But it's more to do with the fact that people rage all too easily and have a very defeatist negative attitude and give up pretty much straight away. And if I'm honest, it's the same higher up as well, but it's particularly pronounced in the 2 to 3k bracket, in my opinion. Because um, I, I, that was my main observations when I, when I smurfed in that. I was like, hmm... Hmm, you guys rage all too easily. And, and literally, as soon as one team starts to fall behind, I often hear, and let's say it's the enemy team, I often hear, report player X. Literally, without fail, every game in 2K. <laughs> every game, all right? And if it's not coming from somebody in my team that I'm playing with, this is solo queue, of course, I don't have this with so much with team play, although it can happen sometimes. Um, but if, if it's not coming from my team, someone will go, ah, oh, report Slark, he's done this one thing, you know, and, and or whatever, then it, I'll hear it at some point, and if we're beating the enemy team, I'll hear it from one point in the other point, please report Slada, please report this player, please report that one. And, and basically, I think the issue we have a lot in Dota is people feel entitled to totally flame someone for making a single mistake. So let's, for example, forgot to buy. So support forgets to buy a ward, or forgets to place a ward in the right place, or doesn't come and gank, or X Y Z. You know, what, what, whatever. Pick a, pick a, pick a challenge. Pick a, pick a problem, or, or whatever you'd want them to do. And then basically, as soon as they make any tiny mistake, someone goes, "Effing idiot! You're such a douchebag! Why did you not place the ward there, you retard?" Now, often. It's not even constructive. It's just literally just flaming. Like, yeah, you're a dick. You suck a donkey's dick. You look like a dick. Your mum's a dick. Dick off, dick face. You know, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing for what is actually much more colourful language than that. Um, and, and I think, if I'm honest, one of the biggest things that people in the 2K bracket could learn to do is be more forgiving. Like, yeah, and... Don't flame someone for making a mistake, even if it does affect you, which, it, of course, it will. You know, and, and um, the only time, I, and, and I'll be honest with you, the only time I ever off, offer corrective advice 
is literally saying what I want them to do and nothing else. And I deliberately try my best not to flame people. Don't get me wrong, late night, had a few beers. Sometimes I can be a bit more gritty, a bit more like, a bit more salty dog, as it were. But generally speaking, so let's say the sport's not doing the job properly. I'll say, hi, Chikiro, please buy wards. We need some wards and I'll ping locations on the map where I'd like them, for example. And just say, please, could you do that next time? You know, and equally, I'll talk to my team like, all right, guys, you know, please, can you do this or whatever? And literally, pretty much every single team game I've lost, or well, I mean, this is a bit strong there, but quite a lot of the team games I've, I've lost where I'm dealing with these kind of environment is because somebody's flaming out somebody else in the team. I rarely ever get flamed because I tend to have like a massive GPM items have ganked successfully. I'm killing people. I'm, I'm leading the game. That's not always the case, but but nonetheless, I, so I'm normally not the direct um, target of people's flame. But other here, other players who aren't playing as well do get flamed, and then I'm sitting there like, look, guys, I'll be honest with you, like you're being really ridiculously unfair and harsh on the person you're dealing with, and it's really really unfair. So let's talk about why you're flaming people, and then also why you shouldn't. So generally speaking, calling anybody an insulting name is a mistake. So if you go, you're an effing idiot, you're stupid, you're dumb, you don't play Dota, delete Dota, uninstall Dota, etc., etc., etc. That is never, ever, ever going to help. All right. And here's what happens when you do that: the immediate, immediately, instead of focusing on your farm or your gameplay or on the map or what's going on the team, you are drawing the rage typing interest from somebody else and they then stop paying attention to the game as well and they start raging at you as well. And so instead of having your brain focused on the game, you'll have your game focused on the other teammate who you're trying to work with to win the game and cussing them out. So instantly it's drawing your game energy. Now here's the thing, you go up the higher up the, the skill tree and the higher the skill level, <laughs> you'll just die if you do that. All that will happen is the enemy will be like, hmm, they seem distracted, cool, let's kill them. You know, it, it, you would just literally fall behind if you if you start flaming your team and and like I say, distracting each other. And that's that's even so even if to the point where you have someone intentionally feeding, that you just need to let that go and not flame them because all that's going to happen is you will enjoy losing that match for sure. Okay. Now here's the thing that that really tends to happen a lot. Okay, it's a it's a very simple thing. People don't play that well. They don't play as well as you would like and they don't play that well in general. And maybe that hero you know really well, or you know how that hero should be played, and they don't play to that standard. And then that's annoying because you're not being able to get the kills or win the team fights that you want to do because they don't know how to do it. And that's frustrating. But please, please, please note, that doesn't warrant being reported. Being reported, what it is, and there's like a list you can see, intentional feeding, ability abuse, so, for example, you're a tiny, you throw them into the enemy fountain, for example, you know, ha ha ha, you know, that's ability abuse. Intentional feeding, going right into the enemy ancient, you know, going right into the enemy fountain, you know, deliberately going under towers again and again and again, you can see what's going there. Or communication abuse, and that's probably the most common report that I issue for people, is, is communication abuse. Um, and, and basically, if you look at them all combined together, right, playing badly, you can kind of argue that, that that maybe they're intentionally feeding, but let's face facts, that's not actually the reason why you think they're doing it. You don't really believe they're intentionally feeding. You, they're just not playing very well or as well as you would like, and therefore you've decided that that warrants being reported. And I would probably say, in the lower skill brackets particularly, the, only, the main reason why people get reported is for not playing very well. It's not for communication abuse or intentional feeding or for ability abuse. It's because they don't like how they're playing, they're not playing very well, and therefore that gives you the right to completely flame them. And which brings us back to this full circle to this whole issue, which is basically forgiveness. Forgive people for making mistakes. Forgive people for not playing as well as you'd like. And then give them polite, please, being the optimum word there, advice on what you think they should do. He says, hey, Legion Commander, do you mind rotating and doing a gank here? I think you should duel this hero. You know, etc., etc. Whatever, whatever. You know, but 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 be polite, be friendly, and be forgiving. 
you know, and take into account that when someone's playing badly, they're not doing it intentionally to screw you over, they're just not very good. And you're surprised by that, but there's lots of people who aren't very good at Dota. <laughs> You know, and then and then finally, I think the last thing I want to I want to cap up on, um, is as it were, is, is positive mental attitude. And there's like so many cases. Oh, the best one I saw actually recently was it was mega creeps, right? All towers, everything destroyed. Mega creeps. There, you know, the mega creeps are on the towers. They're about to destroy the. In fact, the ancient was half elf, and then all of a sudden, all five members of the enemy team simultaneously disconnected. Anyway, so quickly everyone floods out of the base starts you know pushing back the mega creeps and then sure enough a few minutes later they had counter pushed successfully and then gone into the enemy base got their towers down and then ended the game before the enemy team had a chance to reconnect <laughs> awesome awesome dota moment and and basically even in situations like that it's literally it's only, i only really start saying gg when it's like okay yeah they've got mega creeps they have a massive kd difference and we have not got any of their racks. That's the only time. Even sometimes with mega creeps, I've still gone, we can still rack this guys. And very infrequently, we have. <laughs> but that's usually because we've destroyed two of their racks and they managed to do a dirty, you know, anyway. Um, and so, but what I see a lot is like, literally it's like first blood, GG. GG. And it's like, oh, for goodness sake. And, and a really important rule with Dota, I would say, is besides forgiving people for their mistakes, offering polite, friendly advice, is also never give up, okay? It's amazing how easy someone can make a mistake, you can capitalize on it and turn the whole game around. It happens again and again and again. But please, my one piece of advice, if you are in the two to three K bracket, and to be honest, even a bit higher up in the tree as well, whatever you do, if someone's playing badly, never cuss them out. That's the golden rule. Don't cuss people out ever. The only time you say something constructive to the, you know, critical to the, to the, to one of your teammates is, please do this. It will help me for this reason. That is all. And if they don't listen to you, you just mute them and try your best. Never insult people in Dota. And I promise you, right? If you have a whole team of people that are like that, you know, with that kind of positive attitude, positive approach, I guarantee, right, you'll find you're winning your games a lot more. It's as simple as that. And, it, and, it, and like I say, please, for goodness sake, never report someone for playing badly, okay? Please, I beseech you. Anyway, everybody, have a think about that advice. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Goodbye.